Gun Runner here. I'm gonna make a video this morning. It's gonna be the tail of three triggers. We've got uh, three PSA micro daggers with three different triggers installed. The trigger I've got set up here in the vise right now is the Trigger Shark, which is probably one of the most economical triggers on the market that I've seen so far. I if I remember right, this was about $70 for this trigger drop in. In the micro dagger, one issue with the trigger shark is you do have to buy a Glock factory trigger housing, which you can get on eBay for $12 or $13, not that big a deal. The other two triggers that we have today, the Tactical Pontoon Peacemaker Extreme Carry and the Johnny Glock 4311, both come complete drop in with the trigger housings, but they're also more expensive offerings. So let's uh, take a look at these triggers. We're going to do pull weight checks, and then we're going to head out to the range and give them a shot and see what we think. We're going to do a three-shot pull here. We've got the trigger shark in the vise first. Three pounds, ten ounces. Four pounds, 15 ounces, heck of a spread. Four pounds, 15 ounces. I think that first pull I might got a little low on the trigger there. That'll always throw the reading off. Four pounds, 10 ounces. For a three pound average, or three pull average of four pounds, 13 ounces. Not bad, that's respectable. Let me clear that out. That's the trigger shark. I am using snap caps in here because I found if you don't have brass in the gun, it changes the geometry of the trigger and you don't get quite the same feel. So these are inert snap caps just to put tension on the bottom of the slide and make sure we've got correct just like it would be when you're really shooting. All right, Tactical Pontoon Peacemaker. Four pounds, six ounces. Two pounds, 10 ounces. Three even. For our three pull average is three pounds, 5.8 ounces. We'll clear that out. Now we're gonna switch over to the Johnny Glocks. Johnny Glock 4311. Once again, I'm using the snap caps. Okay, here we go. Three pounds, 5.9 ounces. Three pounds, 11 ounces. Three pounds, 12 ounces. Three pull average, three pounds, 9.8 ounces. Now we're gonna take these out to the range. We're gonna shoot all three and see which ones we like the best. And I'm gonna try and measure the split times See if I can tell which one of these three triggers is actually the fastest trigger. That reset will uh, dictate the speed on those triggers and an overall feel, of course. Stay tuned. Okay, we're at the range to test our three triggers. This is the guns we're using today. For a baseline, 
This is a stock Glock 43X. This is going to be our first dagger with the Tiger start, Shark trigger. And I'm using the Glock 43X slide on this micro dagger. This is the micro dagger with the tactical pontoon pacemaker extreme carry. Well, that's a mouthful, isn't it? And then last, we got the PSA Dagger C1. That's the comp model with the Johnny Glock 4311 trigger. This guy has the highest round count through it. I carried this gun for years. Probably six to 7,000 rounds is what we've got through this gun. Once the PSA Micro Dagger came out, you can tell it's got a budget optic on it. I switched over to carrying the C1 and added my EPS carry onto it. Now this gun is five to six thousand rounds on this one, so I've got the most time through this. Only about half of which, probably less than half, is with the Johnny Glock trigger. But we're going to give them an honest run. We're going to try and uh, focus on split time more than anything, which will kind of tell the tale of the reset. And we'll just kind of get an overall feel for these triggers and try and pick our baseline. I will say the PSA Micro Dagger trigger itself, I actually like that trigger better than the stock Glock trigger. Just the feel and the comfort of the shoe that Glock has is horrible. The safety detent on the front of these triggers sticks out through the whole firing cycle and pushes into your finger. I find that I'm almost firing the gun from the safety as opposed to even getting any support from the trigger. So you shoot one of these for any length of time. If you come out and do say a three, 400 round session with this gun, that thing starts hurting your finger. But I don't know, you can insert the joke you want about girly fingers, but I'm an old truck driver and I've got callous hands and stuff usually doesn't bother me, but that trigger I'm not a fan of. But uh, Heck, we got uh, a world with great triggers in it. We might as well do what we can do. But let's give it a fair chance and see what we come up with. Okay, I'm going to try and run through all four of these pistols in one take so we don't have to do a whole lot of editing. Right now we've got the stock Glock 43X. We're just going to do from low ready a three shot sequence and record our times. Micro dagger with the tiger shark trigger. Times for the 43X 158 splits were 0 0.25. 158 splits 125. Or I'm sorry, 0.25 on the split. So now we've got the PSA Micro Dagger with the Tiger Shark Trigger. with a 0.24 split. 132, 0.24 split. Now we're going to move on to the PSA Micro Dagger with the Tactical Pontoon Peacemaker Trigger from Low Ready. with a 0.23 split. That trigger felt very nice. Now we've got the PSA Micro Dagger. This is the C1 with the compensated 
model with the Johnny Glock 4311 trigger. That was a 1.22 with a 0.21 split. Wow. Okay, now I've got uh, 10 rounds loaded in each magazine for the three PSA micro daggers. I've got the PSA micro dagger with the tiger shark trigger in here, or trigger shark trigger first. And I'm just going to shoot 10 rounds and just kind of feel the trigger and see what we think. Fairly nice trigger. I still feel the trigger safety here, the safety dingus, whatever you want to call it. I can still feel that pushing in my finger. Not as bad as the stock Glock trigger. It, so it's improved. It's definitely been shaved down. But I can imagine I'll still have the same issue with that trigger that I do with the Glock 43X after an extended shooting session. That's probably going to start bothering my finger. Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. But that's the uh, trigger shark. Now we're going to move on to the PSA dagger with the tactical pontoon Peacemaker Extreme Carry. malfunction there I'm not sure if you saw that this uh, PSA micro dagger has the lowest round count on it yet it's probably not completely broken in especially on these Cerakoted guns it takes a little time to wear that Cerakote in it'll the thickness of the Cerakote will actually reduce the tolerance needed for reliability so that's what's important about a break-in especially on a Cerakoted pistol so I'm not going to hold that against the gun quite yet that trigger feels very nice its take up is pretty short we've got no bullets in here at the moment we've got a pretty good take up going on here it's fairly short you get to the wall pretty quick the brake is nice and it has an incredibly fast reset that reset comes right back and it's pushing your finger off i shouldn't have been talking so you can hear it You can hear that reset, you can feel the reset, and it's fast. That's a very nice trigger. That's a tactical pontoon peacemaker. Good looking trigger too. It's green like the gun with a with a copper safety tab. Nice trigger. Lastly, we got the PSA micro dagger, the C1, which is the comp. This has the Johnny Glocks 4311 trigger in it. This is the one that I've been carrying quite a bit. I do got a lot of rounds through this trigger. I'm kind of used to this guy. Yeah, that is a stellar trigger. I have one gripe with this trigger and I shoot it well. And it's my understanding that he done this on purpose, but it has a fairly long take up before you get to the wall. But once you get to the wall, it's, we're safe here. Once you get to the wall, there's a, that trigger itself is pretty short. 
and that resets also fast you can hear it you can feel it there's no guessing on that reset but you can see that triggers all the way to the back of the trigger housing Johnny Glocks just recently did a video on this trigger where he talked about that and everything I just mentioned is by design and he has another trigger I think he calls it the Evolution X that is pretty much opposite of this it breaks farther forward like the other two triggers um, so I may have to try that trigger but of these three triggers boy they're all they're all superior triggers to the OEM triggers without a doubt so let's give this some thought we're gonna go back inside and I'll give you my final thoughts before we head back inside I just had a thought about something we are working with a compensated slide and we shot that with the Johnny Glocks 4311 trigger so that can affect our split times so I thought it would only be fair to switch out and put the comp on the tactical pontoon peacemaker trigger and then put the standard slide onto the Johnny Glocks and we'll shoot the same string again three shot test and compare our times because this compensator definitely makes a difference split I think that was the same time the point two one split that we had with the Johnny Glocks so that's that compensator I'm pulling the trigger as soon as I see the dot back on the target I've done that with every pistol so that's a fair representation now let's shoot the Johnny Glocks 4311 trigger with the standard side the PSA calls it extreme carry basically that's the 43x pure clone right now and we will do the same thing point nine two with a point two two split and that's without the compensator In case you're wondering, they were actually aim shots. Here's the target I was shooting at. Um, it's not extreme accuracy, but we were at seven yards and speed shooting. And I also noticed the, the optic on the slide that I shot with the trigger shark has not been sighted in yet. I saw right away it was shooting off to the left. So all these you see pulled off to the left is that optic that never got uh, zeroed yet. So they were aim shots, not just spraying and praying. Okay, we're back in the shop. Gonna kind of give you some final thoughts and I made some notes here. Started out with our baseline of the Glock 43X. We shot that at 158 with a 0.25 split. Biggest issue with that stock Glock trigger I explained in the video earlier it's just the feel of that trigger is absolutely horrible the way the safety dingus is on that here's another 43x this is new never been shot kind of wild looking i know but that's a stock glock trigger and you can see when you pull that trigger it just it doesn't go all the way in there so you feel that safety dingus instead of feeling the trigger and it just it 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 grates on you there's no bullets in here it grates on you when you're firing that trigger so the shoe itself is leaves a lot to be desired the, the trigger the trigger function beyond the feel isn't bad on these it's a little high these glocks are set around five and a half pounds and they usually most of the glocks i've seen you're running like five and a quarter to six and a half pounds on average they're uh, the vast majority around five and a half pounds they're not horrible resets not bad but still leaves a lot to be desired. The PSA micro dagger triggers, which I don't have a stock micro dagger here to show you, they were an improvement over the the Glock triggers, in my opinion. A lot of people didn't like the hinged trigger that they came with. The hinged trigger shoe, I mean to say. The hinged trigger instead of the the safety dingus but i liked that better than the glock because you had a good feeling trigger with a nice wide broad 
area to spread out the, the field. So that felt good to me. But anyway, we got better triggers to look at, so why not? We start out with the trigger shark. We shot this, it was a three shot group, was 132 with a 0.24 split. The trigger shark has addressed the feel of the trigger. And, I, and if I remember right, he uses all Glock components and he just modifies them. Um, so I, I think this might even be a Glock trigger that he shaved it down to help that. And it's better, but you still feel it a little bit. Maybe it could be shaved down farther, but then there might be a reliability concern whether or not it'll miss the frame. I don't know. Um, but this is the most economical of the three triggers I've tested. You can buy, I checked these prices today. This trigger you can get online for $70.99 shipped right now. So this is the most economical. Then you do have to buy the factory Glock trigger housing with another $13. So that puts you at what seventy one thirteen, at eighty four ish dollars or so for for a trigger in it here, and this is an improvement over a factory Glock forty three X by far, marginally better than a PSA trigger. So I would take this over a PSA trigger and a Glock trigger, but just barely. Um, these other two triggers by far beat out the Trigger Shark, no doubt about it. The Tactical Pontoon and the Johnny Glock's triggers, boy, these, this is close. These two triggers are both outstanding triggers, no way about it, hands down. So let's talk about the Tactical Pontoon first. The Tactical Pontoon are times, and I shot these both ways with the, with the non-compensated and the compensated slides. So the Tactical Pontoon non-compensated was 166 with a 0.23 split with the compensated slide it was 1.27 with a 0.21 split which was pretty impressive uh, these compensators on these micro daggers they work i mean people like to talk about they don't reduce recoil guess what that's not what compensators do compensators are only designed to reduce muzzle rise to get you back on target faster they're not designed to reduce felt recoil people get confused on that they say i don't feel a difference well you really don't it's all about that muzzle rise it does make a difference but between these two triggers with the times they were not a huge difference in the triggers as far as speed uh, this trigger to buy this guy today i went on the website and looked shipped 238.85 and that's with a discount code he's there's a discount code i picked up in his last live stream gb7 take seven percent off which gets you that 238.85 gb7 golf bravo 7 is a discount code for this guy very nice trigger the johnny glocks trigger with the compensator was 1.22 the split time 121 uh, without the compensator with the standard slide the time was 192 with a 0.22 split time so faster to the first shot that might have just been how I was holding it at the time but the split time went up without the compensator and you're really looking at cutting hairs on how much time you're trimming with that compensator you know is 0 0.01 of a second that big of a difference seriously is it really not probably not uh with the tactical pontoon the difference with with the compensator was 0.21 to 0.23 so 0 0.02 it's hard to measure that kind of distance that kind of difference in time and especially if you're looking for a carry gun it really is not going to make a bigger difference i think the standard slide this package is probably the ultimate in the carry gun Maybe if you wanted to play around for competition or just to go faster, the comp would be the way to go. Um, the Johnny Glocks. <clears throat> the Johnny Glock today on the website is 288 shipped. I don't know of any discount codes. I've never seen any for him. So I can't heat it. It's on there as an option, but I've never found a code. But 288 shipped for the Johnny Glock 4311 trigger. Without a doubt, these are the two superior triggers and the difference between them. I think is going to come down to 
personal taste and personal feel. The My biggest things I see the difference in these triggers is when you get to the wall. The tactical ton, pontoon trigger gets to the wall much faster, breaks out closer to 90 degrees. The Johnny Glock's trigger breaks all the way to the rear of the trigger guard. So you've got a lot of take up to get to the wall. Once you get to the wall, then there's very little trigger movement. Johnny Glock says he did this on purpose. He purposely set it up that way because he says this trigger was so once you're at the wall there's so little movement and such a light break weight that it's uh he did that for safety the take up is there as an added safety so you weren't just going to blow through and accidentally fire everything johnny glocks does well, i should say anything he does have some competition trigger triggers but he he his main focus is having a safe trigger that you can carry and that's what this is. Even though it's made to be a go-fast, great trigger, he's added that safety so it's a carryable trigger. And it is. I've carried this quite a bit. I've shot it quite a bit. Um, I guess we didn't talk about pull weights. The Trigger Shark pull weight average, three pull average, was 4 pounds, 13 ounces. Tactical Pontoon was 3 pounds, 5.8 ounces. The Johnny Glock was 3 pounds, 9.8 ounces. So once again, these two are very close. Um, my favorite out of these triggers is without a doubt, I got to give it to Tactical Pontoon. That trigger is amazing. I love the feel of, its, of the trigger itself as you're working it. That flat, mostly flat, it does have a slight bit of curve to it there, but mainly a flat trigger it feels great this once you put that pressure on that safety dingus is just like it's not even there it's gone it goes away you do not feel it at all you just have a complete single trigger you now you see it if i push it in from the back it's gone you don't feel it at all it just feels like a solid trigger at that point well made trigger well designed trigger he uses the gun company makes his shoes and it's my understanding that the rest of the parts all are modified Glock parts, improved and enhanced Glock parts. So if you ask me which trigger I like the best, Tactical Pontoon wins. Johnny Glock does have a trigger without, he calls it the Evolution X that doesn't have the brake so far to the rear. I might like that trigger better. Um, I might have to try that someday. All of these are good triggers. I think it's just going to come down to a personal feel, what you're looking for out of a trigger, and what your budget is, because these triggers aren't cheap. You figure almost 300 just over 200 But uh, Tactical Pontoon wins in my book. Thanks for watching the video.